happening right now. Senate Democrats outside the Supreme Court, they're rallying, protesting President Trump's first Supreme Court pick. They call Brett Kavanaugh an extremist who will cost women their lives. Senator Kamala Harris is one of them. She came out moments after Trump's announcement saying she wanted nothing to do with confirming Judge Kavanaugh. Our next guest, however, wrote this headline. Here it is. With Brett Kavanaugh, America will have a bold, brilliant Supreme Court justice. The man who wrote it is Matt Schlapp, American Conservative Union Chair. You pushed for Judge Kavanaugh. You were his principal supporter, correct? Uh, yeah, I, I, I got the, have the luxury of knowing Brett for 20 years, and I know that he uh, loves the Constitution, and that's all I want in a Supreme Court justice. Now, do you want to see Roe v. Wade or gay marriage overturned? Is that where you're really coming from? Where I'm coming from is I want uh, Brett Kavanaugh as a justice and all the other justices to simply look at what's in the Constitution. And the ultimate precedent at the end of the day is those words in the Constitution. There's nobody... Uh, who's a real, uh, who's really honest, who will tell you that Roe v. Wade was correctly decided. But, Stuart, the real question is this. It's not whether you make abortion legal or illegal. The question is how you regulate abortion. Most conservatives and constitutionalists believe it goes to the states to make those determinations, which is really happening anyway as viability in the womb is pushed back earlier and earlier. And Roe v. Wade itself allows for regulations when a fetus is viable. I said at the top of this hour that President Trump's pick with uh, Judge Kavanaugh and before that Justice Gorsuch, that that would rebalance our constitutional society, rebalance it more in favor of legislators legislating and judges judging. And I think that President Trump's picks will have quite an effect on our society as a whole for a generation to come. Am I going too far? Uh, you're not. I, the term I use is constitutional restoration, this concept that the Constitution, the, the people who wrote the Constitution intentionally chose words that had specific meanings. And we have to go back to what those meanings are. In society, we've lost the idea of the definition of words. And look what John Roberts did with Obamacare. He acted like a county commissioner, fixing it here, amending it there, trying to find a way to make it legal. And what you're saying and what I'm saying is that is simply not the role of a judge. You, the, the, the left is apoplectic about this. I mean, the senators are holding a rally right now on the steps of the Supreme Court. They want to oppose it at all costs. Sarah Huckabee Sanders says she wants it confirmed by October 1st. Is that a legitimate, reasonable time frame? Yes, Justice Kagan was confirmed in less than 70 days. She was nominating confirmed. Neil Gorsuch was nominating confirmed in less than 70 days. There's no reason why Brett Kavanaugh can't be confirmed in the same period of time. And by the way, for all those left-wingers who are protesting in front of the Supreme Court, if Brett Kavanaugh is such an extreme uh, case and such an extreme nominee, why did Justice Elena Kagan hire him to teach classes at Harvard Law School. I mean, the more people know about Brett Kavanaugh, the more these left-wingers are going to look foolish in attacking him before they even know him. Matt Schlapp is a happy man this morning, and we appreciate your appearance on our program. Matt, good Thanks, luck to you. Thanks for joining Thank us, you, sir. sir. Yes, sir.